G'day guys, I'm Biggest Kev and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to process the rest of um, Greg and Michelle's material that they kindly gave to me and this is the material that they brought back from from Leonora in Western Australia. So I've sieved it all out and I've got it down to the fine material and the coarse material. So um, yeah, I'll set you up and we'll We'll start panning. Okay, pan number one of Greg and Michelle's material from Leonora. And uh, if you watch the first two episodes, you'll notice that the material um, that I've panned out had gold in it. So. And this is just some material that they've scraped up and picked up from around their patch. They found a, a patch out at Leonora and they've got quite a lot of gold off it. And this is just some of the material that they've just, um, just taken samples here and there on the patch. Just scraped up some of the surface material and put it into bags for me. So yeah, so um, that's cool, that's good. I appreciate this sort of stuff. And uh, we get to see if there's any fine gold in this material that they just picked up off the surface. And uh, stick around to the end guys, because guess what? Yes, that's right. Mr. Gold has kindly donated some more giveaways. So, Hang around for the end of the show and uh, I'm going to give, give away the material that Mr. Gold has given, kindly given to me. Okay, let's have a look here. And um, it's been raining all week and Today is, is a beautiful day, nice blue sky, but we've got more wet weather coming tonight, or later on this afternoon, I should say. Yeah, okay, let's see what we've got here. See if we can get any fine gold. I can't see anything there. There is a couple of fine specks just here, I can see, fine specks of gold. Anyway, we'll keep going, see if we can get a big piece. Okay, pan number three, and I've got nothing in that last pan. There might have been a, just a few little micro dots, but nothing that I can see uh, in the pan. So, we'll just keep going. Yeah, and this is um, this is all good fun, guys. Um, you um, you guys sending me stuff to to play around with, make some videos, and see what we get. See if we get any gold out of it. And uh, I've still got to go back to my creek. I'll, I've called it. Um, I think it was Al. Al said to call it Rocky Creek. So that's what I've gone with. So I've still got to go back to that creek and take another sample uh, to see if if I haven't contaminated the sample. I don't believe I have. And, but I, I've been waiting for the weather to clear. I could, probably could have went out today, but I had things to do. So anyway, I'll get back out there, and um, that could be a could be a bonanza for me. Fingers crossed. Okay. Pan number three, let's see what we get out of this one. Let's see if I can get a nice big flake. Or is it going to be like hit and miss creek? Bit of black sand there, but there is some under the jewels, so you can see some really fine gold in there, but yeah, we want the big stuff. Okay, I'll get back to you guys. Okay, guys, pan number five. And the last pan that I did, I actually um, got a, 
oh, there was a couple of pieces in there that I could actually see without the without the jeweler's loop. I could see them in the pan, and um, there was some real fine stuff mixed in with the with the black sand. So what I did, I I snuffed it all up anyway. So so as I get it, as I see some gold in the pan, I'll snuff it up, and then um, I'll put it under the microscope and show you guys the gold under the microscope. And uh, we can see if it's rough gold or if it's smooth. And uh, Mr. Gold sent me some some interesting stuff. I think you guys might be interested as well yeah, in some of the stuff that he sent me. So stay tuned, guys. And um, I'm expecting some mail from the UK. I'm expecting to get some mail next next week from the United Kingdom. Colin has sent me some really interesting things. Okay, guys. Let's have a look here. See if I can get a big, big piece. Well, big enough to go through that fine mesh anyway. We might get some big stuff in the oversize, maybe. I can see a few specks up here in the black sand. Yeah, this camera won't do it justice, you won't be able to see it, but there is, oh, there's probably 10 or 10 or 15 specks up here and then, then there's some real fine stuff at the back in that black sand so I'll snuff it all up okay guys I'll get back to you okay pan number eight and the last of the fine material and uh, yeah just um, just fine stuff guys that's all I'm getting in each pan just uh, fine gold some of it you can see in the pan without the jewelers loop but a lot of it is just super fine stuff, flower gold. But that's all right. Um, yeah, it tell, tells tells us that there is gold in the in the um, surface soils in that area where Greg and Michelle were were um, detecting and finding small pieces of gold. Um, there might be some bigger pieces in, in that oversized material so I'll pan that out next and we'll see, it, see how we go with that be good to get a nice piece a couple of nice pieces See if we can get a nice piece for us to show. Yeah, all the fine gold, it just sits up there in that black sand. I think I can see a piece. Oh, maybe not. Nah, just the same as before, guys. Just little small pieces up in that black sand there. Okay, I'll get back to you with um, the oversized material. Okay, pan number one of the oversize. See if we can get a big piece of gold in this stuff, guys. Can we do it? Well, we've got the fine material. We've got the gold in the fine material, so... We never know. And there's a lot of quartz in this material. A lot of um, white quartz and iron.
Let's have a geezer. See if we can pick out a big piece of gold, guys. Nice piece I can show you. No, nothing in there. Might be some fine stuff there in the black sand. But no. Nah. No big stuff. Okay, I'll get back to this with another pan. Okay, pan number three of the oversize. And no, nah, nothing, guys. Just a, a few little micro specks, but nothing big so far. And uh, you can see all the, all the quartz, pieces of quartz in that inner. Oversized guys. It might be a specimen. Okay, let's see if we can't get a big speck out of this lot. There's some fine stuff up here at the back there. No, get that sun on it. No, maybe some real fine micros up there. That's about it. Nothing else to report. Okay, I'll get on to the last one, the last pan. Okay, guys, the last pan of the oversize of Greg and Michelle's material. Maybe there's a big nugget in this one. Maybe Greg threw in a nugget for me to find. Okay, that's an opportunity. No, no big chunkers. Just some small stuff there, I think, guys. That's about it. Some micro dots. That's all we got. Okay, guys, I'll see you at the wrap up. And um, yeah, I'll show you what Mr. Gold sent me in the mail. Well, guys, um, that wasn't real good, but thank you, Greg and Michelle, for sending me that material. I appreciate you guys um, doing that, that for me. Prospecting trip out of Leonora, and you gathered up a bit of material for me so I could show you guys on my video. It's, I really appreciate that. Yeah, um, just moving on. I've got some mail. Got some mail from Prospecting 101, Mr. Gold, as I call him. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll just show you what he sent, sent me to give to you guys. It's um, 
He sent it to me for giveaways. Yeah, so anyway. And he's, oh, he sent me a letter. He's put a letter in the box. He's got, hi, big K man. How's it going, best buddy? Okay, another bag of tricks for you and your subs. Smiles all around. Keep up your excellent work, mate. Cheerio, prospecting 101. Ah, where are we? I hope you can see that. Anyway, we'll see what Mr G's kindly given us. Now, this here, I don't know if you know what this is, guys. It's a solar shower bag. I don't know if any of you guys would want this. Um, apparently it heats the water up in the bag up to 40 degrees. So you can have a nice warm shower on those, on those cold days when you're out in the bush. Yeah. So if you're interested in this, guys, just leave a comment. I'm just going to give them away to anyone. Probably the first comment that says they want it. Um, I don't know. I'm not going to really... I'm, I'm not going to draw straws or anything. Yeah. Okay, what have we got here? Pink Lake. Oh, that's Garnet. Okay, he's, he's given us a jar of Garnet from the Pink Lake up in Geraldton, Western Australia. Pink Garnets, guys, are you into, um, into arts and crafts? You want some pink garnets? Leave a comment. All right, what else we got here? Oh. He's put in this book, Small Scale Underground Mining by F.W. Bajesson, I suppose it is, Bajesson. Anyway, if you're interested in small scale underground mining and you like this book, leave a comment, guys. This looks fancy. Okay, what it is, and I wasn't sure what it was, but Mr. Gold told me that this is a Hawaiian. Um, oh, what is it now? A ha Hawaiian healer. I forget the full, full um, name of it. But basically, it's to, um, yeah, it's got something written on there. Anyway, it's, it was made in Hawaii by the natives. And uh, it's worn um, as a, oh, spiritual, that's what it is. Hawaiian spiritual healer uh, this is what this necklace is all about yeah you, you can um, google it and find out more information but if, if you want this and in the box there's some postcards yeah there's all, all these different types of postcards in there um, if you're into that sort of thing just leave a comment guys if you if you want this sp spiritual healer necklace and um, that metal on there, to me, looks like silver. Okay. Right, what else have we got here? Uh, we've got a heap of rocks. He's put in some rocks for me to cut up and polish and give away to you guys. Okay, there's a nice piece of malachite. Malachite in quartz. Now, I can slice this and I can polish it up. That's probably what I'll do. And um, then I'll, um, once I've done that, then I'll show them when they're finished and I'll give them away to you guys. This is a, um, an, it looks like an agate to me. It's, looks like red jasper, but because it's got that banding, see the banding there? It looks like an agate. Part of, part of an agate. Same again, I can cut and polish that. Now, check this out guys. Look at this. A big piece 
of red jasper or some people might call it banded iron because it's got the black swirls in it so banded iron red jasper whatever I can cut this and polish it what else we got now another rock there's just another rock I don't know what this is it's got the black and then it's sitting on the host rock the white host rock probably look look nice if it's sliced and um, and polished and then here whoop, man down and here it's just giving me a whole heap of, of uh, rocks mainly whites reds quartz yeah I'll show you up when I put them up on the table guys One more rock. Uh, one more, uh, another piece of um, malachite. Another, yeah, uh, I'm not sure what type of rock it is, but you can see the green in there. The green, that's the malachite. That's the um, copper oxide. Yeah, cool. I might be able to slice this and make something out of it too. Okay. Right. Thank you very much, Mr. Gold. Appreciate it. Prospecting 101. Put his link up here, guys, so you can check out his channel. He is a super cool bloke. He sent me heaps of stuff. He sent me gold, he sent me rocks, books, and all kinds of stuff. Um, yeah. A lot of this stuff, so I can give it away to you guys, is it's just as um, pri uh, prizes, I suppose. Yeah. Um, so all this stuff, I'll put pictures of it up so you can have a better look at it, and uh, I'll, I'll just leave it at that. If you want it, leave a comment, and um, I'll just yeah, I'll get your address and just post it off out to you guys. The rocks I'll cut and I'll polish up and I'll I'll give them away another time. Um, there was a couple of big nuggets in the box, but I've kept them, mate. Yeah, they're mine. Thanks, thanks, Mr. Gold. Yeah, nah, not really. There wasn't any gold. I was just, I'm just um, playing tricks with you. Yeah. Um, but that's it, guys. That's it for this for this uh, video. Um, take care out there. Be good. Stay safe. And. Thanks again, Mr. Gold. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, okay, guys. Leave a comment, guys. Bye.